what is the relationship between Christ and the church? And if there's any distinction, uh, please help us provide that distinction because uh, people are still confused about Christ and church. Um, so what really distincts both of them and how is Christ and church connected, interconnected, whatever? Because yeah. people need to know that you cannot take you cannot separate church as a separate entity and you cannot see Jesus as a separate entity from the church. Yeah. Neither can you see the church as a separate entity from Christ. Yeah. So what is the connection or if there's any distinction, can you explain? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, profound question, yeah. So as we were talking about today during our 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 time of, of sharing the word today, it is true that the so the church okay let me start there let me start uh let me take a step back jesus uses the word or the image of shepherd and flock when he's talking about church but he's jesus uh, speaks of himself as the chief shepherd so when he speaks or when he says that word what he has in mind that there's this idea of Jesus being the head of the church and then we are talking about the flock so there's that relationship now the flock is not Jesus okay so the church is not Jesus so if if, if yes for yeah. distinction yeah so the church is not Jesus however Jesus is the head of the church so to have a a church you need to subscribe to Jesus cuz cuz people could gather people gather actually people could gather that doesn't make you a church that doesn't make you an assembly of believers as uh, the bible says in colossians uh, in first peter 5 uh, 4 also we talked about in colossians yeah colossians 4 verse 14 just because you go there doesn't make that does not necessarily make you a church we are talking about gathering for the purpose of reverencing christ and acknowledging that this gathering has a head or well, this gathering is owned by Christ himself so that interaction is always ongoing ongoing you cannot really think of a church without Jesus in terms of a relationship there wow. so very 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 profound can you have the church without Jesus mm. uh, so that the the biblically sound answer is no you would have to find another word for that for that group doesn't mean that everybody in that group has received Christ no no but it means the purpose of this establishment is Christ it means you can unless you have founded yourselves on something that completely not biblically sound if you have founded yourself on a biblically sound motive or reason it has to be Christ if you're going to be called a church if you're going to be called a church so that, so that makes the you can't exist as, as a church biblically speaking if you don't uh revere Christ or if you do not subscribe to Christ as your reason for existence everything that Jesus Jesus teaches when he thinks of church would not apply to you if you're not having Jesus as the head of that of that group of that gathering so can you have church without Jesus no biblically speaking uh realistically speaking have we had gatherings that call themselves churches when they don't actually revere Christ yes we have seen that but we don't yes i think where my ending our principle is you don't evaluate something on the basis of where it's mishandled or abused no you evaluate something on the basis of how it's supposed to be defined so the church Interesting. yeah so the church is only in existence uh, to only to, to the extent 
that it reveres Christ as the as the reason for its existence.